hello everyone so now we will see this question where you have to find the value of z in okay we will come to this question but let me give you one concept for that uh, common gate amplifier right so you know this common gate amplifier this is some r here we have r not connected in the previous video we talked about the output resistance right output resistance of common gate amplifier in the last video only we talked about that now we are talking about the input resistance the resistance looking from resistance looking from this end z in uh, i should call it r in r in so most of the people remember this R in equals to R naught plus R upon one plus GM R naught. People remember this formula, okay? And you should also remember. But we can derive it as well. And I I know um, most of you um, know the derivation, but I will give you one different approach of it, okay? So let's see here. I will again draw it. That would be a complete different approach. From what you have uh, studied before okay so here we will consider one vx and get some current ix right this ix current would be flowing through this resistance as well right do you admit this ix current would go in this network then will go come out right this ix current would flowing from would be flowing from r as well right so now what you can do you can find VTH and RTH here. VTH and RTH. You can find VTH and RTH. Then what will you do? You will simply replace this network with VTH and RTH and this load R. And now we know that in load IX current is flowing. IX current is flowing in load. So, IX current is flowing here. So, the same IX current would be flowing through R RTH as well, through VTH as well. So, the same IX current would be flowing here. So, from here, you could find VTH upon IX equals to RTH plus RX. And from there, you can find the relation between VX and IX. Right? Your RX is vx by ix so from here you can find the relation so uh, it will be an easy derivation from that in that de derivation we need to use a lot of equations but here you won't use you won't need to use a lot of equation just just, just draw the diagram once this is the scene right here vx and ix whatever it is now you need to first you need to find vth for vth for vth here you are finding vth and rth what is vth vth is open circuit voltage so here we can simply apply vth so vth would be vth minus vx upon r naught vth minus vx upon r naught and what what is the current flowing in this in this MOSFET? The current is GMVX in upward direction. Do you admit it? Because VGS value is here VGS is minus VX. So current is GM my GM into minus VX in downward direction. So current would be GMVX in upward direction. Okay. So you can simply equate it. That is equals to gm vx that simple so vth would be 1 plus gm r naught vx a simple derivation you could have done it very easily you could have just put that G vx current in this gm vx current in in this direction then you could have written the expression of vth or you can write the expression by th this method very easy method vth minus vx upon r naught equals to gm vx so from here you could write vth and talking about RTH, RTH for RTH you will 
short circuit this one over rth over rth vx would go to zero right so this would go to zero the, this would go to zero and this is already shorted this is yeah this was already shorted this would also go to zero so here here your vgs is zero so your gm vgs is zero so no current flowing through this and your rth would become r naught only so rth will be r naught this is grounded so from here you need to see how much resistance is there to the ground so if this is grounded there is no current in this mosfet so only this r naught is available there so from here to ground only r naught is available so rth is r naught and vth is this value so now you can replace the circuit what is your vth value 1 plus gm r naught into vx and rth is r naught rth is r naught and here we have r okay so and i have explained already the i the current flowing through this whole circuit would be ix okay because we had ix current in resistor r so that same current would be flowing through this vth and r naught okay so 1 plus gm r naught into vx is ix r naught plus r so from here r in that is equals to vx by ix that came out to be r naught plus r upon 1 plus gm r naught so this is the final answer okay so by this method you can find the value of r in as well okay so that's an easy method it won't take much time you will see vth okay vth is 1 plus gm r naught vx and rth that that is very simple that is equals to r naught you will simply replace it with this circuit and you can find the answer and this method you can use in other problems but for this one for common gate amplifier you need to remember the formula r in okay so for common gate amplifier you need to remember two formula for common gate amplifier okay so you need to remember two formulas first i will because it is used everywhere for common drain and common source you don't need to remember anything because they, they have a very simple derivation you can derive it anytime but for common gate you need to remember okay so from here your r in would be r in is r naught plus r upon 1 plus gm r naught okay and one more that we solved in the last problem only from here your r output would be that would be g uh, approximately equal to gm r naught r or completely equal to 1 plus gm r naught into r plus r naught okay so these two you need to remember remember okay now coming back to the problem okay so this was the circuit and you needed to find the jetty this was the circuit right we short circuited the dc bias this one we short circuited this one we short circuited okay so here so for this one vgs is zero vgs is zero so gm vgs is zero so this can be replaced simply by a resistance that we can call r naught and for this one we know the resistance right this resistance is r plus r naught upon 1 plus gm r naught okay so from this side 
one resistance we can see r plus r naught upon one plus gm r naught and one we can see simply r naught so what would be your gm gm would be r plus r naught upon one plus gm r naught parallel with r naught so now you simply need to write the values so i will do the necessary calculation and find the jadin value okay so first uh, let me show the values here gm is ids is 1 milliampere so gm is 10 milli per volt so per volt so it would be 10 to the power minus 2 maho okay 1 upon gds is 1 upon gds that we call r naught that is 400 ohm right 1 upon gds gm value would go here so your gm r naught would become gm into r naught that would become 4 okay gm r naught is 4 and we considered this one to be r okay so r is 1 kilo okay so we will put these values in this so r is 1 kilo ohm 1000 plus r naught so let me put the values so we just put the value and the answer is 164.70 ohm so that's the final answer okay so you need to remember the formulas first these two formula you need to remember okay and the derivation this this was an interesting way of deriving the uh, rn value so i just show you so i just have shown the derivation here okay so you can solve many problems in this way as well if you want to reduce the number of equations okay okay thank you